You're going to stand with Ukraine, you're going to stand with Putin. Will we stand with America or with Trump? Republicans and Democrats in the Senate came together to send a message of unity to the world. It's time for the House Republicans to do the same thing, to pass this bill immediately. And I mean it sincerely. History is watching. History is watching. You probably wondered what bill is so important that the president is talking about it this morning. Remember that $95 billion bill that only includes foreign aid? Well, early this morning, it passed the United States Senate and it wasn't even close. So the president is trying to use what's called the bully pulpit to convince the House to do the same thing. So let's first talk about what happened on the Senate floor this morning. The final huge bipartisan vote was 70 to 29. One senator did not vote. These 22 Republicans joined 48 Democrats and independents in voting yes, and all the no votes were Republicans, plus these two Democrats and one independent. This bill includes billions of dollars for Ukraine, Israel, humanitarian aid in Gaza, and Taiwan. Now, I told you all about how much each is getting and where that money is going in this video last week. And for the record, the biggest chunk of Ukraine money is going to our own military and our own stockpiles in this country. Now, this bill moves on to the House, and I know you hear very loud voices railing against Ukraine aid and even aid for Israel on Capitol Hill. But the fact is, the vast majority of lawmakers, both Democrats and Republicans, do support this type of foreign aid for our own national security reasons. And it's really likely that if this bill went to the House floor, it would also get huge bipartisan support and would probably pass. But the reality is former President Donald Trump, who is likely going to be the GOP nominee for president, is against this bill. So now House Speaker Mike Johnson is threatening to kill it. How? Because as Speaker, he's in charge of deciding which bills get to the House floor for a vote. So it's possible he's just going to say, I'm not putting this on the floor. Now, Democrats are circulating the idea of going around the House Speaker and getting this bill on the floor anyway with what's called a discharge petition. But that is a long and complicated process, and there's no telling if they can complete it. If this bill never gets to a vote in the House, then it will die. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens in the next few days.